Hey guys, what's up? Um, the video that stated I wasn't gonna upload for a while, that I, I wasn't gonna upload for a while, uh, that was mostly like gameplay. I, uh, the last video I uploaded was Steven and his friend Raiden. So, yeah, I still can't upload gameplay, but I'm just gonna talk about today about the new Smash roster uh, for Smash 4. I'm so excited to play it, but some of the things I really want to talk about, like inclusion of some characters I just felt was completely wrong, but it doesn't matter. Now let's look at the characters I want to talk about. Rosalina and Luma. Kind of an, I'm going to talk about the newcomers in this, kind of like an interesting combination. It's like if the Ice Climbers could like spread apart and actually attack other people across stage. And it was actually really interesting to see the gameplay video. I'm just really wondering what her final smash is going to be. Probably going to be like Pits in from Brawl, where a bunch of Lumas come down and attack people. That's my guess. Um, though, I'm not going to look it up before the game comes out. So, yeah, I'm just throwing, stabbing, it's a stab in the dark. Bowser Jr. or Koopa Jr. Um, I really didn't think they would add this character. I didn't, well, I didn't think they would add most of the newcomers, but still. This one was just completely out of nowhere. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to play as them, but that just came in. I Sorry if I like sound horrible about talking about this game. I just do not want to look up any gameplay unless I seriously have the urge to. Now, I don't know what his Final Smash is going to be. Yeah, I really don't, but I did hear that his costumes are going to be like alt alternates of like uh, his like brothers or something. So that's going to be kind of cool. The uh, next one is Baldana. Or Tuna, however you pronounce it. This one was also weird, but I really don't uh, regret her being in. Something, some, another one will, uh, I do uh, have like a regret being in, but. This one, I just feel like, yeah, it's gonna be awesome playing as her. She has like huge, she has like her staff and it'll attack crap on people, but she also has like magic and that freaking final smash it from the trailer. That was just awesome. Seriously. I don't know if I should talk about Ike because he's the next one on the list. I don't know if we got like new uh, character. Like moves that I don't know if we got a new moves or whatever, but uh, it'll be kind of cool. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same, but I think that's Robin. I never played Fire Emblem. Uh, I do intend to soon. I want to. It looks fun, but I just never got time to do it. But uh, I think the next one is Robin. I'm pretty sure. Now. <laughs> It's cool to see Fire Emblem characters because they were first introduced in Melee and n knew, no one other than like, I'm pretty sure only Japan basically knew about them. Only only in Japan it was very like well known. In the West, not very much. But it's going to be cool to play as them because that just means like more fame for the series. I heard it was a really good series. So more power uh, to this character. And I hope, and I, I don't know what... If this was, yeah, I think it was Robin. He has a book that casts spells, but he can only use it like a couple times before he has to like throw it away. Yeah, that would be actually kind of cool to play as him. Next one is Lil Mac. Very excited. He is the only character I'm pretty sure in the trailer it showed him punching it. Punch, yeah, it showed her, showed him punching Sam out of existence uh, because one of his attacks is basically a smash attack, but takes. A very long time to actually make it work, so you can't just do it all the time. So that's gonna be really cool to play as them. Uh, Final Smash, Giga Mac, no question. It's from the new Punch Out, and it's gonna be awesome playing as them. Uh, next one, Greninja. This character came from the trailer that everyone thought Mewtwo was gonna be in at the very first second it popped up. Because it did like the original Smash logo thing, and then Pokemon. Pokeballs everywhere. 
deadly Pokemon coming out. It's like, it's gonna be Mewtwo. It's gonna be Mewtwo. It's not Mewtwo. I think he's gonna be DLC. I... Well, I think... I don't think he's gonna be a DLC. I don't know why I said that before. I'm very, like, half and half about DLC. I know there's gonna be DLC for this game, but part of me says that he's not gonna be in as DLC, because if I'm right, I'm right, not very much disappointment. If I'm wrong, there's gonna be a lot of hype. That's the only way I got made it. So, the Greninja, he came from the trailer that I thought Mewtwo was gonna be in. And for the very first part, showed him, showed that scar from like, that's not Mewtwo. Showed Greninja, I was like, it was like 50%, this is awesome, and 50%, where's my Mewtwo? I was very disappointed and hyped at the same time. I'm pretty sure only Smash Bros. can do that to me. Uh, the next character, Villager. Uh, well, Charizard's kind of his own character, uh, so it's glanced over him, I should have, but still. Villager. He... <laughs> He's a psychotic person. If you've seen what Smash Bros. looked like from the first trailer, it showed Villager. I'm pretty sure Villager was in the first trailer. And he just... He was smiling while he was murdering people. It was so horribly funny that every single post on like the Smash Bros. subreddit was him just like being a psychotic murderer. It was just insanely funny and insanely creepy at the same time. Now for the people who came back from older games. Dr. Mario. I I, don't, I really don't want him in. Like, when I saw him in, I just I was like, why him? Just, why that guy? I mean, you two was in Melee. Dr. Mario is a clone. Granted, you two is also a clone, but nah, as a clone, just, never mind. He's a clone, why is he in? So, I guess clones are... Okay. Oh, I glance over someone, I'll get back to her in a second. And, I don't know, it's just weird having him in, even though he's a clone, and not some someone else like Roy, uh, because he had his own moveset. That just rubs me the wrong way. But I skipped over for a character I can talk about now. We Fit Trainer. Kind of a joking character. Not really as a fan of this one as I was for, like, let's say Greninja. Even though Greninja was 50% sadness. Rifa Trainer was basically just... She attacks with yoga poses and... This final smash is gonna be like... Mario, but it's gonna like... Shoot out like a ton of yoga po poses. It's, she's a weird character. She also has a male version of the character in the game too, as a... Alt, but whatever. Dark Pit. No one wanted this guy. No one wanted him before, no one wants him now, no one wants him later. I just don't want him. I don't think anyone wants him. Like... I feel like... He's... I feel like he's a... I think, I think he's gonna move slower, yet. Yeah. Uh, attack... Has more attack damage. Just... Literally, Pit has a color as a palette swap for Dark Pit. I'm pretty sure in this game, and he had a brawl. There's literally no point for Dark Pit. Just no. Why? There's Robin. I think Robin's a. No, I. No, I mean Lucina. I think Lucina's a Robin clone. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't quote me on that. I think she is. Um, Pac-Man. No, I'm excited for Pac-Man. I mean, Nanko is also helping making this game, so... Why not include Pac-Man? Just seems so obvious. I mean, it's, I, mean it's, I know it's gonna be obvious for those Final Smashes. Just turned into... 
it's like in the original Pac-Man game that turns into like a blue ghost and he just eats them all. I mean, yeah. Obvious. Um, Mega Man. I think this was the character that just brought the most hype other than Greninja all together. Because he is being treated with more respect in this game than Capcom has been in the past few years. He, instead of like normal attacks, like for Mario, just punches people. Like with every, like everyone has that. He doesn't have normal attacks, he has like one, and every single attack is a ranged attack. So, he's gonna have like different movesets, so he's gonna have like Blade Man, Rock Man. One of them is grab, he just throws them. It's like when DK just picks them up and just throws them. I don't see a problem with them. It just seems fun. Um, nothing else to say. I, oh yeah, it's Final Smash is gonna be like, he has like four other Mega Mans from like four different C series, and I'm pretty sure he just blasts. I didn't look at the video because I didn't want to see it. I'm pretty sure that's what happens though. Just assuming though. Duck Hunt Dog. No. I literally no reason. He has less of a reason to be in the dark pit there. <laughs> I just feel like he should not be in. That's like adding... Ow. I don't even know. That's like adding one the A freaking, like... It's like fucking adding Terminator. Even though it doesn't make sense. It's like adding Terminator because he was an NES game. I know this is a horrible example, because I just made this on the spot, and I can't think of anything right now. I just don't want him in. Like, I don't care that he is in. I don't care that he's ever going to be in. I just don't want him in. Because I just feel like he could have been... He could have been a different character. That's all I wanted. I didn't want Duck Hunt Dog, but I'm also happy about the ESRB thing, the ESRB leak, because if I saw him instead of Mewtwo, I would have just gone so mad and depressed. Gone through the five trials of like sadness. And finally, Shulk. I haven't seen any gameplay of him. I really have nothing to say. I'm really trying to like restrain myself from looking at gameplay. Uh, what at? And the final thing I have to say for the huge roster is, um, it's it's a good roster. That's all. It's a good roster. Uh, if you're not buying the game just because Mewtwo's not in or Ridley isn't in, it was it was kind of obvious for that it wasn't going to be in when he said he was going to be a boss. I was kind of skeptical at first, you know, just kept leaning over the side. He's a boss, he's not gonna be in. So he, they basically, Sakurai just shot him with a bullet right there. Now, I just really don't know why they just trolled us on Mewtwo during the Greninja trailer. I feel like he's DLC, but I know for a fact he isn't. But, it just feels we are not having the characters in. Am I disappointed that he's not in? 100% I would rather have him than a Duck Hunt Dog or Dark Pit or Dr. Mario. I, I'm sorry for the Dr. Mario mains, I just don't want him in. That's all I have to say. Dark Pit, no one wants him. Let's just... I, I don't... no one. I'm pretty sure everyone hates Dark Pit because he's in. Duck Hunt Dog, some people are excited. And, oh yeah, the Miis, basically, basically the most obvious attack stock, shoot, one has like a lot more range attacks, one has more like melee damage, but really all I had to say about that. Am I excited to play this game? Yes. Am I, am I disappointed in Mewtwo's not in? 100%. Do I want him? Yes. And I also want Snake in because he's Snake. He's just awesome. 
Now, there goes my thoughts on the roster. I'm excited for the game. I want to hear right now. Right now, I just want to play it. That's all I have to say. I'm excited. I feel like there's WeFit tra we Fit Trainer doesn't need to be in, because like, if you really think about it, like, let's say they added Ridley in. They added Ridley, that's one more Samus uh, character to the game. If they took We Fit Trainer out, would anyone be like, Oh no, We Fit Trainer. Say they took Dark Pit out, not a soul on Earth would say anything about that. If they took Dark Pit out, and added Ridley in, no one would say anything about Dark Pet. Absolutely no one. It's like, if Shadow Link was in the game. I'm pretty sure that's what he was called. Don't, call, don't quote me on that. Uh, Dr. Mario Mames would have been sad if he wasn't in. Uh, the picture I'm looking at right now doesn't have so many unlocks, so that's why. They didn't have Shulk or Duck on Dog, I almost forgot them. So... Thoughts, comments... If you want to say anything, this is not like a... It's not gonna be a YouTube video for pure hatred. But, oh, why is this character in? It's more or less like... I'm disappointed about this character not being in. Still gonna buy the game the day it comes out. Because I just really freaking need it. Sorry about the Terminator bullshit I was talking about, but... If you like the video, then like, f comment, subscribe. I don't know how to like on a new YouTube layout. It's confusing me. So, uh... Yeah. If you want to see anyone return, put that in the comments. So, yeah, see you later.